Calculating your costs for your electrical first fix is straightforward, fast and accurate using this module. To start my pricing, I will need to tell the programme the type and quantity of electrical appliances I will be fitting or wiring up in my first fix. The red boxes at the top of the screen make it easy. You simply enter the quantity into the correct cell. I will be pricing for one shower, one cooker, five telephone points, one consumer unit, three extractor fans, four lights and two TV points. I will now enter the length of the ring main. This is the total length of wire around the ring main for the lights. This figure does not need to include the length of the drop downs to boxes or switches. These are allowed for and I will show you how and where a little bit later in the movie. My ring main is 36 linear metres. Now I will enter my sockets and light switches. I will start with the ones that will be going into masonry walls. So seven double sockets, one single socket, four light switches, and now for the stud work walls. I will have two double sockets, no single sockets, two light switches, and I will also have two storage heaters and three smoke alarms. I will now enter the length of the ring main for the sockets. This is 32 linear metres. If I now go down the pricing sheet, I can see that by entering those numbers, the program has calculated everything for me. But let's take a closer look at the details and how they have been worked out. The program has priced for seven double steel back boxes. If I click on the red question mark for this line, the picture shows me the length of drop that has been allowed for from the ring main. This is two linear metres. I can also see that 0.2 linear metres of wire has been allowed for the overhang from the back boxes. The picture also shows me that there is 4.4 linear metres of wire allowed per socket. These measurements for the drop and the overhang meet my requirements, but if you wanted to change them, you can easily enter your own figures into the boxes and the program will adjust its calculations to match your selections. If I just quickly click the red question mark for the single steel boxes, double dry lining boxes for the stud work walls, and the single dry lining boxes, you can see that the same format applies, so you are able to adjust any of the drop or overhang measurements to meet the needs of your job. If, for example, you were rewiring a Victorian building. Alternatively, you can set the defaults for these drops in your master copy, so they will always be as you want them with no need to check for every job you price. By clicking on the red question mark for the solid wall switch box, again, we can see the drop that has been allowed. This can of course be changed, along with the overhang. Here in this picture, or in your master copy if you wish. The same can be done on the dry lining switch box. Let's look at the grommets. If I click on the red question mark, I can see that two grommets are allowed per back box. This is right for me, but you can change it if you wish. The program calculates how many grommets will be required by multiplying the number per back box by the total number of back boxes. If we look at the pricing sheet, I can see that I will need 24 grommets for my job. I will just click on the red question mark for the smoke alarm cable. I can see that at the moment 6 metres of cable have been allowed for. This can vary from job to job, so if you wanted to change this, you can do it here in the picture. Again, by clicking the red question mark for the smoke alarm cable clips, I can see that I am fitting one clip every 1.2 linear metres. This is right for me, but you can change this if you do something different. This same format applies to the wiring and clips for the storage heaters, TV points, telephone points, and consumer units. If you wish to change any of the defaults, you just click on the red question mark and use the picture to adjust any of the numbers to meet the needs of your job. All of the wiring for the sockets has been calculated, based on the numbers we entered earlier. If I click on the red question mark, the picture shows me the total cable for drops to sockets is 44 linear metres. The ring main total is 32 linear metres, and that the total required is 74 linear metres. The clips for the sockets cable, the wiring for the lights, 
and the clips for the lights cable all have this same useful diagram showing the totals that you can see by clicking on the red question mark for that line. The wiring and clips for my shower and cooker have been calculated. By clicking on the red question marks, you will see the default setting for this. If I click on the wiring for the shower, I can see that 10 metres have been allowed. As this will no doubt vary from job to job, you would simply put in the amount of wire you will need, and the programme will alter its calculations to match your needs. If I click on the red question mark for the wire cover capping, you will see in the diagram that for the light cable I have 13.6 linear metres of capping allowed for, and 35.2 linear metres allowed for the drops to my single and double sockets. The nails for the capping have all been calculated, along with the screws to all the back boxes and the raw plugs. All of the totals for the materials, hours, labour and overall total can be found here at the bottom of the screen. The first Fix Electrics module really does make pricing easy and enables you, with the help of the useful diagrams, to create accurate costings that meet the exact requirements of your job.